couple comments as always thank Buckeye Nation I know it's fall break and their students are there and thank them uh, much appreciation uh, for their support uh, a lot of credit to the Minnesota came in and they swung very hard and, uh, I'm saying right now that I'm using is enhance our strengths and let's fix our weaknesses and we have to get some things fixed so what we're going to do is enjoy a win Seven and all, not many teams are seven and all, and uh, get some things fixed to get ready for uh, a trip to Purdue. Over to the right here, Austin. Urban, along the lines of those strengths and weaknesses, are you, when you walk out of here today, are you satisfied with this win just because you're seven and all, or are you, you have some worries about what you saw today? I learned a long, long time ago, but just not that long ago, enjoy every win, and then, uh, like I said, come back tomorrow and get to work hard. They're concerned, they certainly are. Uh, over to the left here, Bill. The defense only gave up 14 points, uh, none in the second half, but a lot of yards, uh, a lot of slants that went against you. Could you assess the play of the defense and, and the state of it right now? Yeah, a lot of, I was disappointed in the run. Uh, you know, we've been, uh, been clear, uh, the back had 160 yards rushing against us, and that's not acceptable. And then, uh, like you said, he was only 13 to 23, but I see the same thing with slants. And, and we are, we're a, a team that challenges every throw, and, and when you get beat, that's a problem. So that's something that uh, is not a strength right now. So the, the strength is that they came out and shut them out in the second half, a lot like the game last week where we held a team to 92 yards in the second half. And the best thing is we created some turnovers now with the Over to the right, Clay. Follow up on that. Coach, in 12, you went over to the defense, made some drastic a drastic move, not suggesting you got to change the middle linebacker. But do you see yourself poking your head in the defensive room and being more, or do you do that every week? I do that every week, and I just, uh, you know, not just when it's negative or positive, because I want to know what's going on and have great confidence still. And just, uh, you know, you lost uh, really four starters for, you know, you got their hopes so five starters are out right now. And you lost uh, Damon Arnett, you know, Biggie Lander really not playing, and uh, Malik Harrison. And uh, John and Cooper, so it's, everybody's dealing with it. That's a fact, and we have to play better. Over to the left, uh, Bill. Urban, do you have an update on Thayer Von Perdia? Yeah, he uh, rolled his ankle a little bit, and he's got a little kind of hip issue, but I think he's going to be okay. And then over the last few years, it seems like your offensive line has built momentum throughout the course of the season and, and finished strong your offensive line. Just, just where do you think this group is now? I know today was tough, but is, are you seeing any consistency there, or is there improvement to be made? You know, I, I, I don't know if we played particularly well today. Uh, we'll know more after we get a great film grade. I'll let you know on Monday how they play. But I saw, you know, we gave up three sacks. And uh, you know, we have to keep uh, playing upright. And we're not, you know, short yardage is not a strength. Uh, red zone is not a strength. And we're the ball is not a strength. So that's something we can figure out. Over to the right, Tim. Yeah, I mean, KJ Hill's day in a nutshell. I mean, the one hand you catch down the seam for a touchdown. And then the, uh, the one at the end, he pretty much put it away. But just. What have you seen from him lately as far as just rising to the occasion? Not lately. He's uh, He's been kind of our guy. He's uh, as they all are. I mean, that group's as good as I've been out. Just good people, good, unselfish guys that block hard and make plays for the quarterback. Uh, over to the left, Ari. Urban, you guys obviously have a different type of offense this year than you've had uh, in the past. But 92 yards rushing, you've mentioned a few times, you think that the rushing is in the strength right now. How odd is that for you just in general? And sir, how much success you've had in your entire career with rushing the ball on offense? You know, someone told me uh, at one point we were like rushing more yards in any school in the country for the last six, seven years or something. <clears throat> well, it's discouraging a little bit, but it's been seven and all, and uh, we're looking down the throw for 412. So it is what it is. Uh, I just know the game of football, I've been around it, and at some point you got to line up and do what you do. You, you preach balance a lot. Can this team get where you want to go, throwing like so. 410 yards a night and rushing for 90? Uh, as of today and last week, though, I think there's, there's signs and we certainly have two good backs and we just got to get that worked out. And final question over here to the right, Rob. Urban, when, you, when you're a passing team, I mean, that's what you've been the last few weeks. Is there, is there a danger that the offensive linemen are going to pass protect and they're going to lose a little of that blocking edge? Have you seen that in your career? Can that happen? Uh, I've seen and heard about it. Obviously, we haven't really uh, witnessed it and i got to make sure that doesn't happen. Years and years and years of football chat. Great. Coach, thank you.